everyone, my name is Kate Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Look at the beautiful card that we're going to make today. It is so much fun and I know you're going to just love this technique. It's just layering some designer series paper behind a cutout, but the cutout is absolutely remarkable. It's made with a stamp set and a framelit set that can be purchased together as a bundle where you'll save 10%. It's called Special Reason and the Stylish Stems Framelits. And this bundle, the Special Reason bundle, can be found in our Occasions 2017 catalog from Stampin' Up. And one of the things that's really neat about this framelit set is you have your cutout so when you run it through the embossing machine you can actually cut out just the individual petals and then just leave that however if you use the little outline framelit you can um, go ahead and cut this out so that you have something that looks like this more like a regular die cut let me show this to you see this is the this is where you use both of these now you can't run it through together but you run it through one at a time and you can get a cutout that looks like this so I've seen some really really neat things done with these dies and I'm going to show you my special neat thing that I came up with and that is layering this paper behind it and just using the stem too and I love this card so I hope you do too we are also going to be using the succulent garden designer series paper also found in our occasions 2017 catalog from Stampin Up this is just a beautiful paper I've seen it paired with a lot of different stamp sets not just the succulent garden I did create a beautiful succulent garden card that I'm going to show you down the road using this paper but for now we're going to use it with the special reasons card so let's get started the first thing that I'm going to bring into the picture here is some basic black cardstock this is five and a half by eight and a half and then I've scored it at four and one fourth I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just fold towards the mountain and we're going to take a bone folder and just give this a good press so that the card will lie flat for us the next thing we're going to do is our inside panel. I have a piece of Whisper White. This is four by five and one fourth. And I'm just going to um, show you that on the bottom, I put a half inch strip of that Succulent Garden Designer Series paper so that it will coordinate to the front of our card. I'm going to go ahead and using stays on ink. Now you could use any black ink that you wish, but stays on is one of my personal favorites and I always have it handy. So that's why I grab it all the time. You can go ahead and stamp the sentiment on the inside of your card. And so the outside sentiment says there's no special reason for this card. And then the inside it says, except to let you know how special you are. And I just love that. So let's go ahead and put this on the inside panel of our card. And I'm just going to use a little bit of snail to go ahead and do that. So we're just going to set this in, make sure all four borders are nice and even, give that a little press, and the inside panel is done. Now let's work on the outside panel. We're going to use a piece of mint macaron. This is four by five and one fourth, and then we're going to run it through the Big Shot machine, which I already have done, but instead of using the dynamic hexagon folder I wanted to try some flowers in the background I thought that might work really well with the front of the card so this folder is called petal burst and it makes a beautiful background all these different petals which I think is going to go nice with the main element on our card so I'm going to put this on with multi-purpose liquid glue partly because there's so many little crevices on here and the glue gets right down into those crevices and helps it stick a little bit better onto the front of your card. So we're just going to set this straight down and just give it a little wiggle if you need to to make sure all four borders are nice and even. And I already am in love with this look. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the Big Shot machine and I have another piece of basic black. This one is three by four inches and let me set this up on the Big Shot machine so you can see exactly how this works. I'm going to take the Stylish Stems Framelit, so we're going to use this one with all the petals in it and then I'm also going to use the stem portion of it. 
and we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our three by four inch piece of basic black and we're just going to run it through first with the flower part of this card. So I've just set it up and just so that you know what I'm doing here, I should maybe turn this around. I am using the Big Shot platform with the thin die adapter. I have my cut plate right here. Then I go ahead, I put the paper down, I put my die down, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a top plate another cut plate right over the top here and we'll go ahead and run this through then i'm going to just remove that die and i guess we will have to move this just a hair so some of these pieces are already falling out let me brush them off and we're going to move this up a little bit so that i have room to put the stem die on so we're just going to set this right here, and I think that looks good. We have three leaves fully in the picture here. So let me grab the cut plate, and we'll put this on here, and we'll run this through as well. So let's back this out. Then we can go ahead and see how everything turned out. So let me move the Big Shot machine. And now I'm just going to grab my Big Shot die brush. This is a handy tool, so I keep it in on inside out paper pumpkin box and I'm just going to run this over the top very gently and you can see that everything just falls out just perfectly so let's go ahead and set this aside and then the next thing we're going to do is back this with a panel of our succulent garden paper so this is two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths it's cut just a tiny bit smaller than our basic black panel so let me go ahead and we're going to glue this on as well. So this time I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to do the gluing on the back side of this black panel and just a little bit all the way around and then just a little bit here in the corner to keep that leaf from popping up. Then we're going to turn this around and I think we can set this right here in the back. Now I want to make sure that the bottom is flush let me turn it over so you can see and look at that it's just beautiful so now let's go ahead and get that sentiment ready I did go ahead in advance of this video and I stamped it with um, my stays on ink just on a piece of Sahara sand paper just a scrap and then I ran it through the big shot machine with this smaller um, sentiment element that you'll find in that set of dies and so that's all we need so we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this right here and actually we're going to maybe just glue it right on I mean there's no reason to wait so I'm just going to glue this right onto this piece and I want to leave just a little bit sticking out here on the right so maybe bring this down a hair have a little bit sticking out to the right here and now we're going to accent it with a little mini paper clip. One of the neat embellishments in the Stampin' Up! catalog this time around, the Occasions catalog that is, are these little tiny mini paper clips. And they're just so cute. So you can just put this right here, clip that right on, and what a cute little embellishment. Now we can go ahead and we'll just add some dimensionals to the back. And as you can see, I've added five dimensionals. We'll bring the card back into the picture, and then we're just going to put this so that it goes a little bit to the left, but our top and bottom are even, and that's what we're looking for. So we're going to have the top and the bottom about even with just a little bit of this um, green edge showing on the left. And there it is. Our card is complete. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful with that petal burst in the background. Here's the original one that we did. And so thank you so much for stopping by Stamping to Share. If you're interested in placing a Stampin' Up! order, please see my blog at www.stampintoshare.com. And there's links there that will take you to my online store. And please remember, it is celebration time, which means for every $50 increment on your order, you get a free reward item out of our celebration catalog. Have a great day. Bye-bye.